darkness of night We live to die We lose our souls every day We lost mine We don't remember what's wrong and what's right The world is dead but we stay Cause we are born as living fight Got a real soft spot for old F trucks. This is 1978 F 250. So, long story short about this truck, I was supposed to um, fly out to parks in New South Wales to pick it up, and I um, my flight ended up getting cancelled. So, I said to my fiance, I said we're going to have to drive out to go and get it. So, anyway, we spent most of the day driving out to parks, out in the middle of nowhere. This truck spent its whole life out there. And, um, long story short, after paying for the truck and getting a permit to drive it back home on the road, it uh, broke down in the middle of nowhere. Just completely cut out. So if I'd flown out to get this truck, and then ended up being stuck there. It would have cost me a lot to uh, tow it all the way back home. Luckily, I had my old Ford Ranger with me and we ended up towing the truck until it started. Just told the missus, <laughs> let's hook up this. We had, like, I didn't have my recovery kit. I didn't have anything in my truck. I just had an old bit of rope. And I said, just pull me and let's see if she starts. So she probably dragged the truck for a, close to a kilometre until it finally fired back up. We drove another few hours and it stopped again. Did the same thing, kept driving, started again. Eventually made it all the way home. So I think she's got an ignition problem somewhere. Something that I want to work on and, and get it going. But um, truck runs, runs fine when it is. But it's a, it's a long-term project truck. However, I do want to get it back on the road short-term, so I thought it'd be a good truck to put on the channel. Another Ford. So we'll have the F-250, the Ranger Raptor, and now we'll have this 1978 F-250 Custom. And I've, I've just got a real soft spot for these trucks. I love old F trucks. I've had a few a few over the years as uh, work trucks and stuff like that but there's just something so raw and so just awesome about them They're very temperamental sometimes but there's just nothing like an old school V8 so we'll uh, I'll take this for a walk around the truck and show you show you the whole thing and some of the things that are wrong with it and some of the things I want to fix up and what my long-term goals are for the truck. Um, but like I mentioned, right now I just want to try and get it back on the road so I can drive it. And it's bloody like 35 degrees right now and no air conditioning in this truck at all. It's, it's pretty hot. Um, it's another thing that's got to get fixed. So let's take a walk around the truck and I'll, I'll give you a look at it and let you know what the plans are for it. So... So it's actually probably coming up to about two years, two and a half years that I've owned the F truck. Um, 
I just I wanted an old school truck just to tinker with in the shed every now and again and something that I could probably long term do back up so I love the truck at way, the way it is now it, it looks really good but it does have a little bit of rust here and there um, over the past years because we're right on the coast here it's kind of developed a few love spots here and there and some things I'm going to have to deal with but um, it's it's by all means it's probably 95% perfect there's just that 5% of rust and stuff that's now coming through so but it did have a full canopy on the back as well when I picked it up I ended up selling that to a guy that had an F truck he was looking for a canopy but it had a new paint job done when I picked it up but it wasn't done very good it was very I'm worried that there's might, there might be a lot of bog in the truck because as you can see here on the tailgate it's already starting to flake off on the truck but long term I was gonna sandblast the whole truck anyway and do a full patina paint job on it so you can see there it's kind of got a little bit of a cancer spot going on it's not too bad. I try to cover the truck in lanolin as much as I get the chance to just to try and prevent stuff like that but it's not bad. Um, along the top of the guttering here is probably the worst on the whole truck. So it's a little bit, a little bit cancerous just there but I don't think it's too far gone at this, at this stage so I really don't think there was ever a better front end on the Ford series than this one. And the body lines, shape of the cab, I think this is probably one of their toughest old school trucks they ever built. Uh, it is on gas and, and fuel as well. So it's pretty cheap to run when you're running it on gas. I pretty much ran it on gas the whole way home. The most driving I've ever done in it now, I've never registered it since I've had it. The tires are completely shot from me doing burnouts <laughs> so I'll probably I'll show you the worst the worst tire so she's uh she's all chewed up from doing donuts and stuff on the gravel which we might do at the end of the video taking the door card out because this window has lost the track on the bottom of it so that's another thing I need to fix try and get a track for the bottom of the window I pulled the dash out just because it was it was all broken so these panels all sit in there like that but they were all cracked and busted so that's another another thing I want to fix long term for the truck I'd like to rip the whole dash out and put a brand new sheet metal dash in with new gauges and stuff. We've got some sexy roof lining. She's a good old four speed. Four speed in reverse. So just pure old school awesomeness things pretty basic back then there's bloody wires and stuff going everywhere from the previous owner because they've put our uh, fans in behind the radiator but I'm pretty sure this is a 351 um, that's what they came out with but it could have been changed, but I'm pretty sure it's a 351 Cleveland for the, uh, I think it was the 77 and 78s from memory in Australia. But she's on gas as well, like I mentioned before. I'll, this motor's going to come out long term and I'm going to end up just dropping a brand new or a low kilometre used engine in it, something more modern, fuel injected. And then probably have a couple of turbos or um, we'll do a full supercharger on top. But this is when stuff was made to last. Check out that bloody hinge for the bonnet. 
So I did fit this steering wheel um, after I just after I bought it. It had some funky, cheap Chinese wheel inside of it that the previous owner had put in here. So she's got 367,272 kilometres. So I think the engine's already been rebuilt, what the previous owner told me. So I thought it'd be cool to put this truck on the channel. Um, just another video that's that'll come up every now and again with this truck. Uh, I'm gonna do some suspension stuff. All the shocks are blown on it, so I've got to put new shocks under it, put some new tires on it, do a little bit of the interior, and to um, get her regoed again. Um, she's got a couple of broken blinkers and things, and but yeah, just thought you guys might be interested in um, seeing a bit of work done to this every now and again, um, getting it back on the road. And then 100% it's going to be on the channel when I do the full build on it. Um, I'm just waiting to um, buy a new property, get a new shed built and stuff like that. So that's a few years off doing a full build on this bad boy. Um, and also to get the money together because those to do a build like I want to do, it's not cheap. So I'm going to do 90% of the work myself, um, except for kind of powder coating and sandblasting and stuff like that. But I'm going to try and do most of the wiring and everything myself for the engine and putting it all back together and all the upholstery and and do the whole thing so but short term i just want to yeah get it back on the road and get it going again and another truck for the channel um go for sunday cruises and stuff like that in it so i'll take you guys for a spin so super old school She's a four speed, that's the handbrake. And we do have um, the switches and stuff down here for uh, gas and to swap over to petrol as well. So. I thought it would have been the uh, fuel pump but because it does it on both gas and petrol, uh, I couldn't work out why it was doing it. Um, I, st I still have and it still just every now and again just stops and then I've got to turn it off, give it a few minutes and um, yeah, you guys may know what's wrong with it, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Just sporadically it'll just cut out as if someone's turned the fuel off um, or it just loses ignition but yeah it's just strange how it does it and then I've just got to let it sit give it about five minutes start it again pump me foot on the throttle while I'm trying to start it and bang she'll fire back up so if anyone's got an idea what could be causing that let me know in the comments so this trucks gonna be my Clint Eastwood truck Uh, Grand Torino Cruise around when I get old and Look like a mean ass <laughs> nice, nice old school truck Just to go for a cruise on a Sunday Around the beach and stuff and Something a bit different than the uh, Four wheel driving and the camping all the time Just something to break it up Date nights with the missus Maybe even do a little bit of a uh, formal work and stuff like that weddings so i got some cool plans for the truck not in any hurry to do it but just gonna do it as i feel like doing it and yeah see what happens i guess but as soon as we get the new property and we get the new shed i'm gonna go all out so i'm gonna be bloody hoist and everything and brand new workshop and so we can start doing some seriously cool builds and I want to do a lot more of the work myself and so plenty to come for the channel definitely investing a lot of time and, and effort into it and I'm here for the long term guys so if you haven't already and you're new to the channel welcome love to have you as a subscriber let me know in the comments what you guys would do to this truck if it was yours and uh, you might be able to give me some some more ideas 
even though I've got enough ideas as it is. Ideas is the last thing I need, but I might get down the beach for a while, I think. It's a bit hot today. So, alright guys, I'll catch you in the next one, eh? See ya. Thank you.